Have you ever wondered how insignificant we might be in the grand scheme of the universe? As we stand on the surface of this blue marble we call Earth, we find ourselves at a unique crossroads. We are both infinitesimal and immensely significant. Earth, our home, is but a tiny speck in the vast expanse of the cosmos, yet it is a beacon of life amidst a seemingly endless void. Our planet sits in the Goldilocks zone of the solar system, a region where conditions are just right for life as we know it to thrive. This unique position, neither too hot nor too cold, allows liquid water to exist, and it is this life-giving substance that sets us apart from our celestial neighbours. As we embark on this cosmic journey from Earth to the edge of the universe, bear in mind the extraordinary nature of our origins. As we leave our home planet, the familiar becomes distant and the extraordinary becomes our new reality. Beyond the confines of our world lies a vast solar neighborhood teeming with celestial bodies. Our journey through the cosmos first takes us through our immediate celestial neighborhood, the solar system. This is home to a lively array of planets, each with its distinct personality. Closest to the Sun, we find Mercury, a small, rocky world that bears the scars of countless meteor impacts. Venus, our neighbouring planet, hides a lethal atmosphere of thick, toxic clouds beneath its deceptive golden hue. Next, we have our own planet, Earth, a blue oasis teeming with life. Our neighbour Mars, with its red, dusty surface, holds secrets of a possibly watery past and future potential for human habitation. Beyond Mars lies the asteroid belt, a cosmic junkyard of rocky remnants from the early solar system, acting as a kind of boundary between the inner and outer planets. Venturing further out, we encounter the gas giants. Jupiter, the king of planets, is so massive that over a thousand Earths could fit within it. Its swirling storms and bands of vibrant colours make it a sight to behold. Saturn, with its iconic rings made of ice and rock, is another jewel of our solar system. Further still, we find the ice giants, Uranus and Neptune, mysterious worlds wrapped in the icy blue. At the centre of our solar system, we find the Sun, a burning sphere of hot plasma radiating life-giving energy. Its light and warmth travel across the vast distances of space reaching the furthest corners of our solar system and beyond. It's the beating heart of our solar neighbourhood, without which life as we know it would not exist. And thus, we've taken a brief tour of our solar neighbourhood. It's a diverse and fascinating assortment of celestial bodies, each with its own story to tell. But let's not forget, this is just our immediate neighbourhood. Though it may seem like we've travelled far, in the cosmic scale we've barely taken a single step. Venturing further, we find ourselves in the sprawling expanse of our galaxy, the Milky Way. As we journey deeper into the cosmos, we begin to grasp the immense scale of our galactic home. The Milky Way, in all its radiant glory, is more than a mere collection of stars. It is a grand, cosmic city a bustling metropolis of celestial bodies, each with its own unique story to tell. Our galaxy is a barred spiral, its form characterised by a central bar-shaped structure enveloped by a sprawling disk of stars, gas and dust. This disk is not a flat circle but a slightly warped shape, much like a vinyl record left out in the sun. It swirls around the galactic centre, a dense hub where a supermassive black hole lies in wait, silently pulling all things towards it with its unyielding gravitational grasp. But within this swirling dance of cosmic bodies, there is an astonishing variety of residents. The Milky Way is home to hundreds of billions of stars, many like our own sun. Each star, a fiery beacon in the darkness of space, potentially hosts its own system of planets, moons and asteroids. This means there could be billions of worlds out there, each a potential stage for the drama of life to unfold. Yet, amidst this vast cosmic city, there is also a profound sense of mystery. At the heart of the Milky Way lurks Sagittarius A asterisk, a supermassive black hole. This enigmatic entity, four million times the mass of our sun, is like the city's town square with stars and gas clouds orbiting around it in a mesmerizing cosmic ballet. Yet, despite its central role, much about it remains shrouded in mystery, a testament to the endless enigma that is our universe. As we traverse the vast expanse of the Milky Way, it's easy to feel dwarfed by its sheer scale. 
Yet, it's important to remember that our galaxy is but a single city in the vast cosmic country that is the universe. Yet even this galaxy is but one among billions in the universe. Beyond the Milky Way, the universe opens up into a spectacle of galaxies. Indeed, our galaxy is but one member in a small cluster of galaxies known as the Local Group. This group, which is about 10 million light-years in diameter, includes more than 50 galaxies, amongst which the Andromeda Galaxy is the most massive. Just like our Milky Way, Andromeda is a spiral galaxy, a swirling whirlpool of stars and gas, but it outdoes us in terms of size and the number of stars it houses. The local group is just the beginning. Beyond it, the universe is teeming with galaxy clusters, each containing hundreds to thousands of galaxies. These clusters are bound together by gravity, creating a cosmic dance on a scale that's hard to fathom. Now let's take a step back. Picture these galaxy clusters as nodes in a grander structure, the cosmic web. This web, composed of galaxy clusters, threads of galaxies and vast voids, spans the entirety of the observable universe. The filaments of the cosmic web are where galaxies are born and grow, tracing the distribution of dark matter and dark energy, the unseen forces that shape our universe. The observable universe, it's a term that denotes the part of the universe from which light has had time to reach us. It spans a staggering 93 billion light years in diameter, and yet it's believed to be a minuscule fraction of the whole universe. This concept, the scale of it all, is humbling. It's a reminder of our tiny yet significant place in the cosmos. We are part of a galaxy, which is part of a local group, which is part of a galaxy cluster, which is part of a supercluster, all interconnected in the cosmic web. With every step we take, the universe continues to astound us with its scale and complexity. Let's continue our cosmic journey as we venture towards the edge of the universe. And here we stand at the very edge of all we can observe. As if the cosmos hadn't been vast enough, we find ourselves gazing into an abyss that extends far beyond our comprehension. This is the edge of the observable universe. The cosmic frontier where light has had enough time to reach us since the universe's birth some 13.8 billion years ago. This boundary is not a physical wall, but rather a temporal one. When we gaze at this edge, we're looking back in time, seeing the universe as it was billions of years ago. It's like peering into a cosmic mirror reflecting the universe's infancy. One of the most profound phenomena we observe at the edge is the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB. This is the afterglow of the Big Bang, the oldest light in the universe. It's a snapshot of the universe when it was just a baby, a mere 380,000 years old. But what lies beyond this edge? What lies beyond our cosmic horizon? Well, that remains one of the greatest mysteries of cosmology. Some theories suggest an infinite expanse of more galaxies, extending far beyond what we can see. Others propose a multiverse, a collection of universes, each with its own laws of physics. Yet, no matter what lies beyond, it's humbling to contemplate our place in the cosmos. From our vantage point on a small planet circling an ordinary star, we've managed to peer across the cosmos to the very edge of what we can observe. The universe is a grand stage and we are but small players, yet it is our curiosity, our quest for understanding that propels us to the edge and beyond. Our journey through the cosmos is a testament to the power of inquiry, a tribute to the human spirit. We began our journey on a small planet in the vast cosmos. Now, gazing at the universe's edge, we realize the enormity of the cosmos and our humble place within it. Our cosmic journey has brought us face to face with the universe's vastness and our own insignificance. From our humble beginnings on the blue marble we call Earth, we ventured outwards through our solar neighborhood, across the Milky Way and beyond to the very edge of the known universe. This journey has been a testament to human curiosity and resilience, a testament to our insatiable desire to explore and understand. It's a journey that has shown us our place in the universe, a reminder of how small we truly are in the grand scheme of things. But in this vast cosmic arena, we've also discovered something truly remarkable about ourselves. We've discovered that, despite our minuscule size, we hold a unique position. 
we have the ability, the intelligence, and the audacity to explore and understand this vast universe. Though we may be small in the cosmic context, our ability to understand and explore the universe makes us truly extraordinary, for in the end we are all made of star stuff exploring the cosmos.